Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Bryce, and I'm a teacher here at uh, Susquehanna Valley High School, and there's my contact information. Today, we're going to be examining properties of operations, balancing an equation, the relationship between subtraction and division. Don't worry. We're going to get through this. Here is the um, Common Core standard right there. And the first question we're going to say is 12 divided by 3 equals 4. What would you do if your boss pointed to a pile of cereal boxes and said 12 divided by 3 equals 4? Well, let's see what he meant. They would be telling you to take those 12 boxes of cereal and put them into three piles exactly the same size, and that size is four boxes in each pile. So you have a total of 12 boxes. You're going to place them into piles of three, and you are going to have exactly four piles. So let's see. Here are the 12 cereal boxes, and we're going to have a pile of three. One pile of three, two piles of three, three piles of three, four piles of three. So that's where our answer is, how many piles do we have? Okay, remember, we're going to find the relationship between subtraction and division. Notice, if you take a look at the tape diagram, you could say, if you're looking at the tape diagram, that that's telling me a story of 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. But we're saying 12 divided by 3 equals 4, and that's what we tried to describe using the tape diagram. Are we saying the both the same thing, that 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is the same as 12 divided by 3 equals 4? Let's examine it some more. Put your thinking caps on. The question we're addressing in this lesson is division and subtraction of a set. A set means the same number repeatedly. They are related. Whoa. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. We see our tape diagram. They're each into piles of 3, and we have 4 piles. Now, notice in this, we're going to start with 12, and I am going to subtract 3 repeated. So I'm taking 3 away, taking 3 away, taking 3 away, taking 3 away. It equals 0. Does it? Here, I'm going to take the first set of 3 away. I'm going to take the second set of 3 away. I'm going to take the third set of three away. And I'm going to take the fourth set of three away. And I'm left with nothing. I'm left with zero. So notice how many sets or how many items I'm left with is nothing. And that's what subtraction means. Now, what I want you to is that when we're taking a look at 12 divided by 3 equals 4, we have 4 piles. 12 divided into piles of 3 is 4 piles. And 12 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 is 12 taking away 4 piles of 3. Leaves us with how many piles? 0. So let's take a look. I'm taking away 4 piles. Of 3. I started with 12. Leaves us with no piles left. So we have a complete answer. This is the special relationship between subtraction and division. We see that I have the 12 piles. I start with 12. Taking away 4 piles. Once, twice, three times, four times. Three in each pile, three every single time, leaves us with zero piles, leaves us with an answer. Now, 
Where is this going for us in algebra? 10 divided by x equals 5. I am saying that's the same thing as 10 minus x minus x minus x minus x minus x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're subtracting 5 piles of 0 equals 0. Because in the last page, we saw that we can take away all the piles of x in size, and the answer is 0 piles left. So here is the same statement again, but now what I did here was I'm taking away five piles of X, okay? So I'm not doing them individually. I combined the like terms, remember, from previous lessons how we can combine like terms. This is the special relationship between subtraction and division. Let's take it one more step and see how we're going to use it in class. So here's the same example. Do you recall that we can now add 5x to both sides of the equation? In the previous lesson, we learned that addition and subtraction are inverses. They undo each other. That's why we want to add 5x to both sides. And that is also why we can add 5x to both sides and get 5x. this right here. I added 5x right in there. I added 5x right in there. This side hasn't changed at all. What is minus 5x plus 5x? Nothing, because they're inverses of each other. What's 0 plus 5x? 0 plus anything is that number, 5x, because it's the additive identity. 0 is the additive identity. And that is why we say, do the inverse of division right here. Do the inverse of division. Things started to fly around there. Do the inverse of division. Multiply both sides by x to solve for the variable. And there we have. We multiplied both sides by x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times x is 5x. If you have any questions, make sure you ask me in class. If you are a teacher and want supplemental materials, Supplemental materials for academic intervention services can be found in the sixth grade module, lesson four, module four, lesson four for more problems. Have a great day.